I'm now going to take a quick and basic look at two major improvements to the Kinefect setup in Houdini 19. The first node we'll look at is the Attach Joint Geometry node. This was previously called the Attach Control Geometry node. This is the node which we use to attach the controls to the rig. This node now has a lot more options for control, and it now allows us to update the display of the controls directly. So I'll create two controls. In this case, I'm just going to use two pieces of geometry. In this case, a box and a circle. These will be given a name attribute, and they will be merged together. Connecting the geometry and the controls works the same way as it did previously. I can add an operation, and I can select the group of points. I can then specify the control that I want to be attached to each individual group. We have other options which we can now specify that I'm not going to be going through at the moment. For example, we can specify controls that are defined as world space controls. And we can now also specify controls using templates. What we're going to be looking at, however, are the tweak control options. These will allow us to update the display of the controls on an individual level. So I can add a tweak, and we can select a group. This could be multiple points or an individual point, and this will allow us to change the color for an individual control, and it will also allow us to scale and offset the controls per point. This makes it far more easy to create a flexible rig for the character. This also makes it far more easy to work with color, and this is done in a method that was far neater than the previous methods allowed for. The next change is more subtle, but probably has a bigger impact and that is a change to the Rig Pose node. There are not any major changes to the Pose tab. The changes instead are with the Settings tab. There is a new option here, and that is called Rig Visualizer, and this will allow us to control the visibility of our joints. For example, we could update the display of the chain links, so we can choose which joint this is applying to by adding a configuration. We can then select the joint for display. This will work for single joint, but we can also have groups of multiple joints. We can now control various properties for the display of the joints. For example, we could update the display of the bone link. The bone links are not that important, however. The most important control here is the show packed geometry control. This will allow us to control the display of individual controls. Basically, we can toggle whether they can be seen or not. The Attached Joint Geometry node now allows us to choose what our control will look like, where the Pose node now allows us to choose whether we will see that control or not. Having the Rig Control control visibility allows us to simplify our networks, but it also allows us to control visibility without using the Legacy Visibility node. The Visibility node is one of the older nodes in Houdini, and it is not a compilable node and not having to use this visibility node will allow us to have a more flexible network, as well as a more elegant and neat network. This is because the pose node controls will allow us to control individual visibility as well as visibility on groups at the same time. 